So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple background manipulation. This was the before and this is the after. So with no further ado, let's get started. We're going to delete all the layers we used to create this and do everything from start to finish. So you delete the layer, come to your history tab here and click on the base layer to get everything from the beginning so the first thing we are going to do is to expand the canvas how do we do that why on your crop to crop to view and zoom out then hold alt and then increase the size of the canvas make sure the content i will feel is not ticked then click on ok to get this extra white border around the image if your border is not showing white, make sure your background color is white. The background color is black or any other color, that is the color you get on your border. So when you're done with this, you can come to view and then fit on screen. The best thing we are going to do is to duplicate the background layer. We name it subject. Then come and take your quick selection tool. And then click on select subject you can use any other selection method but we're using select subject for this particular one now click on your layer marks to create a marks over the subject to separate it from the background the next thing we are going to do is to make sure we're on the background layer Take a rectangle mark you to and then make a selection around the subject. Something like this. And then come to layer, new layer, layer via copy. And then click on OK. Now you click on Ctrl T to enable transform. And then you drag this down like this and then hold control on your keyboard and then move the selection like this that is this layer like this and then you move it like this also now click on ok come to filter distort polar coordinates and now make sure you're on rectangle to polar and click on ok now turn on the subject background, Ctrl T on your keyboard, then you resize accordingly. Now click on OK. Take your polygonal lasso tool and make a selection like this to max out this polar coordinate distortion from areas you don't want it now click on your layer max now click ctrl i on your keyboard to invert the max the next thing we are going to do is to take a gradient tool you click on the gradient tool to bring up the gradient editor you see this is the color I, I just used. If that is not the color on your own, you can choose any other color you want. You can use the hand picker tool to pick any color you want from anywhere you want. The same thing for the shadow. So we just set the color for the shadow and the highlight. And then we we'll click on OK. Make sure you read their gradient. Naturally, on the 40 to be on linear gradient so make sure you're on your you're on radius gradient then create an empty layer and drag like this on the subject to create this selection reduce your opacity to about 40 take the layer below the layer one that is a polar distortion layer The next thing we are going to do, the final process, is to come to layer, 
new layer and then set the mode to overlay fill with overlay neutral color this is just to hold everything together this is the glue to hold everything together so that your image doesn't break and create banding when you upload it to social media now add noise come to filter blow gaussian blow and then reduce the opacity to 0.2 now click on ok can reduce the opacity of this here so this is the before and this is the after skill set like this in photoshop we add spice to your portraits and make your good looking images better and amazing and more eye-catching if you want more tutorial like this let us know in the comment section have any feedback let us know in the comment section if you haven't already liked this video like this video subscribe to this channel so you can get more helpful tip trick in photography and retouching happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial